It's estimated that there has been 107 billion people who's ever lived. Of those 107 billion people, only 12 have ever walked on the moon. And I'm sure each and every one of them blessed with sight at some point looked up in the night sky, looked at the moon, and wondered what would it be like to be up there, to walk on the moon. The last time man has walked on the moon was in 1972, 45 years ago. We could have had a colony up there by now, or we could have had some kind of base. There is a whole industry waiting to start. It's called space tourism. There's millions of people who would love to go and visit the moon. They would happily pay a lot of money to go up there. That's why I'm excited that there is a new space race to the moon. An Asian space race. And Japan has just joined the race. They announced last week that they are joining the race. They will send an astronaut to the moon by the year 2030. And it's thrilling knowing that someday there may be a colony on the moon and ordinary people, not just astronauts, could visit the moon and walk on the moon. An Asian space race. It involves China, India, Russia, and Japan. And in this video, we're gonna talk about Japan. Let's talk about the Japan Aerospace Exploration Agency, AKA JAXA. JAXA was formed in 2003 but Japan's space program goes long before that. Japan had 26 successful rocket launches into space with the Mu family rocket series between 1971 and 2006, so they are new to space exploration. They sent the Hitton spacecraft to the moon in 1990, long before China and India sent their spacecrafts to the moon. Japan has also contributed the largest module on the International Space Station, the Kibo module. So Japan has been a major player in space exploration, but they want to kick it up a notch. Japan's decision to enter the Asian space race is part of their 2015 plan to incorporate their space policy with their national security strategy. And this proposal to go to the moon is in direct competition with neighboring China. Here at NeoScribe, we focus on exploration, not geopolitics. But let's just say that all of the countries in Asia are not the closest of friends. And national security is often the invisible hand of space exploration. So the Asian space race is on. JAXA does not want to send an exclusively Japanese rocket to the moon. That would be extremely expensive. Japan plans to contribute the technology to a multinational manned lunar probe to send a spacecraft to the moon, but it wants to work with other countries to help pay for the mission. So that's what we know about Japan's plan. What about the other countries in the race? We have China, who announced in 2016 that they will have a manned mission to the moon at some point. They already landed an unmanned spacecraft on the moon in 2003. China has the third largest GDP in the world at $11.2 trillion. That's about double of Japan at $4.9 trillion and over five times India's $2.2 trillion. Push comes to shove, China can throw a lot more money into the race compared to the rest. India! If you didn't know, India is a space exploration powerhouse. They're one of five countries to have sent a spacecraft to the moon and they did that in 2008, five years before China. And they're one of four countries who have sent their flag to the moon. Well, technically, they crashed it on the moon. Lastly, there's Russia. Russia hasn't quit their plans to go to the moon. Their plan, like Japan, is to send astronauts to the moon by the year 2030. And beyond that, they want to colonize the moon. So those are the major players in the race. But there's also a mini Korean race. South Korea announced in 2016 that they will send an unmanned spacecraft to the moon by 2018. North Korea declared in 2016 that they will put their flag on the moon by 2026. They have an estimated GDP of $25 billion, but we all know they love playing with the rockets. So that's the race. Japan, China, Russia, and India. Along with the race to send unmanned spacecraft between the Koreas. So who do you think will get there first? Comment below. This is just part one of the Asian Space Race series. We're gonna go over the other countries' plans in further detail. I am the Oracle, and this is the end of our journey.